Hey guys, how are you all? <clears throat> Excuse me, hope everybody is well. Uh, welcome to week five. Yes, we are indeed in week five. So, um, while I get some of my bits ready, uh, if you guys could go to your bags, your big yellow bags, and get your week five task one bags, that would be absolutely amazing. I'm gonna get my music going and we will crack on. So week five, task one. So I have mine nice and handy here. Now the other thing we're going to need for our week five task one uh, from your bag is your paintbrush. So grab your paintbrush uh, and if you want to, uh, you well actually you can, you, we'll use our bags as our surface. So grab your bits um, and let's go. I'm just going to switch us over. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good. Fantastic. Good. So this is our week five task one bag. Can we have a little look inside? Mmm, got one of these, our picture frames. Yes, we are going to be doing some framing this week. Both tasks this week. A bit different though, so you'll enjoy it, I think. Um, we have some uh, paint. It's like a, it's kind of an, it, it looks more red at the moment, but it will dry a bit more kind of orangey. It's a kind of a dark, kind of deep orange. Um, or a, if, if it looks a bit red, that's fine. Don't worry too much about that. Uh, and then we also have, if we pour them out, loads of beautiful colored tiles. Okay, so uh, you can put your tiles to one side for the moment and I'll, we'll go through how they work. So don't worry too much about that. Uh, and then what you can do is you can use your bag, a little bit of dirt on mine, so you can turn your bag up like that and then you can get your bag and you can pop it on there uh, now do that uh, and put it over to the side and then down this side we can use it to put on our paint so uh, as always with our paints we're going to um, just take one little corner if you squeeze it like that you'll see it goes back into the bag so we're not going to open up at the top as we've talked about many times before get a little scissors cut a little nip in it tiny little one uh, and then you can just squeeze it like a piping bag, like I say every week, and just squeeze some of it. Now, you know, I've given you loads of paint. You probably won't need too much, so don't go too crazy with squeezing it out. Um, and then all we're going to do is get our brush. i got a nice white one. Um, and we're just going to paint all over this one. Okay, so we're going to paint the whole thing one color. Now, if you have a look at it, you'll see one side is a bit shiny, and one side is quite matte. Now, it doesn't really matter which side you use, so don't worry too much. I like to use the matte side. Um, it just makes it look, uh, I, th I think the paint sticks to it a little bit better. But that's just me, don't worry too much about it. So we'll pop it down, nice and flat. Get a finger if you want, pop it down on top, just hold it. We're gonna dab our brush in and we're just going to paint. Now mine, it, this does look quite, <clears throat> excuse me, this does look quite red. Um, but again, don't worry, it dries a little bit lighter, so it'll dry a little bit more of a dark orange. But it doesn't matter, even if you wanted to, if you've got some other paint, and you wanted to paint it pink or blue or any colour at all, it really doesn't matter. We're just basically getting a base colour on. A nice colour. All over. So we're going to dab, dab, and we're going to stroke. Because our surface is nice and flat, we're going to use our stroking motion. So you're going to just stroke that nice and over. Now I'm going to put down this way. Now, as always, if I get ahead of myself and I'm going too fast for you guys, just pause me, okay? Just hit the pause button. And you can just, because I'm doing this at my speed, I'm not going to be speeding it up as always. We go through the whole thing. Um, but uh, I will probably be doing this a little bit quicker than you guys. So I'm just giving it a really nice coat and going over it a second time. Uh, if you guys wanted to, you could let it dry a little bit to go over it, but it's totally up to you. I'm just gonna get a nice color like that. Beautiful. Well, I'm cool with that. That works really well for me. I'm just gonna rub the excess, which means the leftovers like that. Now, uh, you can leave this to dry if you wanted to. Uh, you don't have to at all, uh, and I'm not going to. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift this up now, and I'm just going to fold my bag over in half like this. 
just to give myself a new surface to lie on. Now, you don't have to use this. You can just put it on your table like that if you want. Or if you've got a spare sheet of paper, you can put it on top like that. Oh, maybe I'll... Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put it on my bag. I'm going to do what you guys are doing. So it won't cover the whole thing, but that's fine. Now, what you will see, and I'm going to hold this up, you will find what's going to happen is because you've put wet paint onto the cardboard frame that they it wants to curve. That's cool, don't worry about that. We don't mind that happening at all. Uh, once we start to put our stickers on and we start pushing them down, we'll start to flatten that down a little bit. Um, and when it's dry, you can reshape it at any time. So don't worry about a little curve that's happening, it's all good. Um, then we're gonna bring back our tiles. Now we've got loads of little tiles. We've got yellows and blues and purples and oranges and these are my glitter tiles. I'm gonna hold one up close there. Oop. There you go, probably won't focus very well. But they're lovely glittery tiles. But these are stickers. So on the backs, they've got these white backs on them. Hold up to this camera maybe, oh, it's too bright. Uh, they've got a little white back on them. And all you're gonna do is peel them off. Now, for obviously for our very small fingers, this can be a little bit trickier, so big people. As always with our, with our stickers, you're gonna peel the back off and then you can hold it. Ho you hold the white backing and then our little fi fingers will come in and we're gonna pull and we're just gonna stick them down onto our um, frame like that. Now I'm going to do two borders. I'm gonna do a border around the inside frame and I'm gonna do a border around the outside frame. Now you guys can do it any way you want. Maybe you're just going to go and do a bit of a scattergun approach and just put them everywhere and anywhere. And that's absolutely fine. This is all about just practicing those stickering with those little fingers and getting those little fingers working, okay? So take your time. This will take some time if you were to, if you want to go and do a really complex pattern and do some sequins and all sorts of things. Um, you can do it any way you want. Now I'm going to do two different stages. I'm going to do now I'm going to do the out both at the same time. So I'm doing the outside and the inside, if you like, uh, because I may stop. I don't know. I'm going to see what happens. So I'm just going to keep going. Uh, I'm I quite like symmetry, so I like using. If I'm using four purples on the outside and then yellows or sort of things like that. So I, I'm quite into that, but that's totally up to you guys. Some of you guys who are a bit younger might want to just put stickers on. Ah, oh, stickering. That's all cool. Um, uh, I'm going to put one there. Maybe I'm not. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to do borders around this and just see what happens. I'm just going to see what happens. So I'm put another one in there. These are my blue ones. And again, this is a great little task as well for practicing our colors. So if you are currently working with your little people on your colors, you can put a purple one and a green one and a blue one and a yellow one down on the table and go, hey, can you pick the yellow one or the green one, the blue one or the purple one? <coughs> Excuse me. So great, great fun. Loads of learning to be had in this as a little task, as well as it being amazing for your little fine motor skills. It is great for counting, for colors, shapes you've got lots of squares going on here at the moment but you know two squares put together makes a rectangle two rectangles put together makes another square it just happens to be bigger you know so there's loads of cool things you can do um, with these uh, with this as a, as a task oh no that was an orange. oh go on I'm look I'm gonna do it that way so I put red on that one and red on that one and I put an orange and orange but that's fine hey this is the fun bit and then maybe I'm just going to go crazy. And maybe I won't go all the way around. Maybe I'll do like a little kind of a grid pattern. Two greens. <gasps> crazy. Two greens. I'm going to put two greens on all of these. I could have done one. So, as you can see, I am literally making this pattern up as I go along. And everyone will be slightly different, but that's what's partially great fun about these. We all have exactly the same materials. We're all doing exactly the same basic idea. But if we were to look at all of our picture frames put together, once at the end, they'll all be completely different. And that's kind of the fun bit. It's certainly part of the fun bit. That we're all different and we all have different things that we like. So we keep going. 
You can pause me at any time. Um, I'm going to jump ahead. Now maybe uh, I'm going to get some yellows and I am going to then maybe not go the full way. Maybe I'll do two yellows on each side of the purple to create like a little border. I'll do the same on all of these. There we go. You get a purple one in there. You get a purple, or got yellow and a purple and a yellow in each one of the corners. And it's so good. Now you might find that your little people get a little bit tired because it can be quite tricky and that's absolutely fine. So one of the things that you can do, big people, uh, to help that, if we get a little bit frustrated with trying to do the peeling, because it can be quite tricky, and for big people it can be quite tricky. Uh, what you can do is if you just take, uh, what will we do now? Let me do purples on the outside of these ones. Um, peel off the sticker, and rather than trying to peel off a little bit like this, just take the whole backing off and stick it on the end of your finger. And so it's in the perfect position for them to come in and just pull it off and stick it down. And don't be worried, don't be too worried about it specifically going in a specific place, especially for you younger little people. Um, we're not too worried about that. So I'm gonna do either side of my yellows. I am going to put a purple. Um, and like I said, I'm kind of making this up as I go along, which is of course the fun creative bit of this. So, um, don't worry about yours being completely different to mine. I would expect nothing less than yours to be totally different because we are all different. There we go, purple one there. And then I'm gonna get another yellow one. Oh, I'm gonna put a yellow, so it's gonna be purple, yellow, purple, yellow. Purple, yellow, purple, yellow. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I think I quite like that like that. Let me have a look. Let me finish up this one. Purple, yellow, purple, yellow. Got my little corners, got those little corners. I just need another yellow. Um, and I think I quite like that. Maybe I will do, what have I not used? Got the orange. I like my purple. Purples are working well for me. I wonder, oh, I've used a couple of reds. I'm going to put a few reds on either side of this one, this orange one. So there's no little sticker there on their own. An orange one there. But because I use the orange one on this side, I'm going to use two, or a red one on this side, I'm going to put two oranges there. And last two oranges. You see, I've got loads of stickers left over. So I am going to finish mine up here. Because I quite like that. But you guys just keep going. Okay? There you go. And you can end up with a beautiful uh, frame that looks just like this. Now, yours could, you could join some extra ones in there or finish those across whatever pattern you want. Then once it dries, you can just bend it in if you want it to be nice and straight, or if you want the curve in it, it's quite nice because it helps it stand up. So you can help it stand up like that. And then all you do is um, turn them over, print out a nice picture of yourself, stick it on the back there with some sticky paint, and then it makes a beautiful little gift or present for somebody. Um, and we all, need to, uh, we all need to see each other these days. So maybe the other thing you can do is you can hold it up like this, like this, maybe if I switch over, hold on when you see this, you get to switch over to this one and you can have a look. There you go, you can put a picture in there and it goes like this. And there you go, those are our beautiful crafts. So there you go, your lovely picture frames everybody. Take some pictures, I love to see them. And um, I will see you guys on the next one. Take care of yourselves, look after each other, stay safe, don't forget to wash your hands and keep your distance and wear your masks. Bye!